Hi friends, how are you? I hope you've had a great week and I'm really glad that you're here to worship with us here this morning. I hope you were able to find some fun ways to stay cool this past week and all of the heat and that you're really enjoying your time, um, whatever you're doing this summer. I'm back here in my office again today, and uh, of course, I have some things I want to share with you that are found right here on my desk that will help us learn a lesson about who God is and just how much he loves us. Are you ready to see what they are today? All right. The first one is this. Do you know what these are? Maybe you've had them before for a snack or maybe in your lunch they're iced animal cookies. And the second thing is this, my coffee mug. Now, why are we talking about iced animal cookies and a coffee mug? And what do they have to teach us an important lesson about God? Well, when I was a kid, I went to Sunday school and my Sunday school teachers were Mrs. Wilkin and Mrs. Bain. And every week, every week in Sunday school, they would bring us iced animal crackers and Kool-Aid for a snack. I don't have Kool-Aid on my desk today, but I do have my coffee mug, which always has something really good in it. And this is what these two things remind me of when I think about who God is and everything he's done for me. Today in worship, we're celebrating and, and remembering Jesus through the sharing together of the meal we call communion. And communion is an important thing for us as believers. Communion is an important thing for us as friends of Jesus because it helps us remember the meal that Jesus had with his friends before he was crucified for our sins. And he gave it to us as a gift, as a lesson, as a reminder of just how much he loves us. And when we come together as a church and we celebrate communion and we have bread and we have grape juice and Pastor Dan prays over those things, those things help us remember just how much Jesus loves us. So animal crackers and coffee help me remember that lesson because Mrs. Walken and Mrs. Bain spent years teaching kids in the church where I grew up about how much Jesus loved them. And every time I see iced animal crackers in the store or in somebody's house or if somebody brings them for a snack to share, even at youth group, I remember. I remember those two ladies and how much they loved me and how much they taught me about who God is and why he is so important in my life. And this coffee mug, this coffee mug was a gift from a very, very dear friend. And every time I see it, I remember just how much that friend loved me and how much time he spent teaching me as an adult about how much God loves me. Iced animal crackers and coffee is certainly not the communion meal that we share together in the sanctuary. It's certainly not the things that Jesus left for us, right? He gave us bread and he gave us grape juice or wine. And that for us as believers is a very, very important meal to share together. Friends, I hope that you know just how much Jesus loves you. I hope you remember 
every single time you open your eyes in the morning or you see a really pretty sunset or you hear a bird chirping or you're spending a great time together with your family, just how much God has given to you and loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. I love you so much. I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.